Alright, so welcome back to another episode of WeDev's show. We are uh, reaching number five, nice. episode number five. And um, it's been kind of different type of a journey because we have a huge show today. Right, monster but show. It's a typical monster, but before that, let us introduce ourselves. So, sir, would you do the honor first? Okay. Uh, my name is Yasin Rahman and I am from Business Development Department at WeDevs. And the main thing is I am a digital marketing enthusiast. <laughs> right, that's and why you stay up late even though our office time is over, right? Right. right. And your Twitter handle? Yeah, my, and my Twitter handle is this is Yasin. You already know that. And mm -hmm. Please yeah. introduce yourself. Thank you. My name is Ahmed Kabir Shayon and I'm working as a business strategist. And my Twitter handle is at C-H-A-I-O-N-0-7. Um, viewers, um, if you can hear us properly, do let us know. You might have noticed the background, the setup has been modified a, a bit. So we request you to comment us and let us know if it's uh, audible, if there are any technical difficulties. And we're slowly building up crew. Right. We're learning stuff from YouTube tutorial and stuff. We're probably going to have a full-fledged production team uh, in the near future. Should the audience believe that this is a show that should continue. Right. Uh, now, what do we do in this show? We talk about us, we talk about WordPress, the community, the ecosystem, and also we talk about tech trends. But today, we have something different to talk right. about. <coughs> we are talking about WordCamps, Word and uh, in the quarter one of 2020, we're going to highlight the remaining WordCamp, which is in the month of March and, and April. April right. And mm. uh, the idea came uh, while we were uh, actually uh, discussing and we we're doing some research on the internet to find out WordCamp and their details. And everything was in the WordCamp central website of wordpress.org. But then again, you had to go into different website of the particular WordCamp find location, find uh, a lot of different information. So I if you wanted Each to- Each and every single information that you need to know about the total WordCamp. Okay, exactly. so I have a question. Yes, sir, let's so begin. <laughs> so do you please tell me actually what is WordCamp is? Well, WordCamps are casually, locally organized conferences covering everything related to WordPress the free open source content uh, management system and personal publishing software that powers over 75 million sites on the web. I actually said it from wordpress.org. That is yeah. the definition of WordCamp. Okay. Um, nonetheless, uh, before uh, we move on to the next segment, uh, we have to sadly inform, there is a list, right? Right. S stuffs are going on, the world. Huge uh, list. Yes, the world peace hasn't been totally established. There are conflicts going on. Mm. But saddening uh, us all is with the epidemic the outbreak and soon probably soon to be announced by World Health Organization a global pandemic is coronavirus and COVID-19. COVID so these are the stuff that is actually trending right now on Twitter in your social media but nonetheless that has impacted the community by uh, cancelling not just one the result of five different word camps being cancelled so start with first up word camp asia. asia which was supposed to happen in bangkok thailand and then word camp geneva word camp dc washington and then word camp retreat seoul Tau. and also very recently just last night it it was announced by one of the lead organizer that word camp kansas city is also going to be postponed it hasn't been cancelled yet right. they said it's postponed so there might be further information coming up and uh, we are uh, seeing a lot of posts uh, in social media about influencers and people who are very important in wordpress ecosystem who are mentioning uh, and advising different proposal and stuff about what camps either should it happen or not but why do we actually attend WordCamp? It's a basically a community meetup. Have you been into any of the WordCamp? Yeah. Could you share a bit about that WordCamp? Which one was it? Uh, it was uh, last year, 2019, WordCamp Kolkata. WordCamp Kolkata. All right. I attended, and it's a uh, it is really a very wonderful experience in my right. life. <laughs> Right. So, um, if if for a layman term, if I had to explain WordCamp, it's just a conference, a gathering where like-minded people come, talk, mostly uh, content management uh, people such as bloggers, um, journalists, and also developers. Uh, me yes, of, of course, software developers, news agencies, media advertising agencies who need their digital footprint uh, because they are all dependent on WordPress. WordPress. 
anyways, let's the move on to the main meal, topics, shall we? Right. right. So we'll talk about a month mm. at a time. First, we'll talk about m the month of March, and then we talk about the month of April. April right. So in mm. the month of March, we have nine Ward Camp remaining. So there's Ward Camp Greenville in the March of seventh, Ward Camp Malaga in March seventh, and then eighth Ward Camp Lancaster, March fourteenth, Ward Camp Albuquerque. I may have messed that up, but that's okay. It's in New Mexico uh, in March twenty to twenty one. Uh, also, we have Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, March 20 to 21. We have Ward Camp Kolkata, March 22nd, Ward Camp Antwerp, March 27, 28, and 29, and also Ward Camp San Antonio on the March 28th and 29th. Finally, Ward Camp Jacksonville, March 28th and 29. So there are nine Ward Camp in the month of March 2020, right? Yeah, remaining. A uh, okay. few got cancelled already. So could you please tell me some more descriptive about the each and every like the what about the Greenville sure where what comes so let's focus on the word camps in the month of March okay. so Greenville is a city in South Carolina okay it, it's uh, the future uh, the the attractions and feature of Greenville is the Greenville Country Museum of Art upcountry history museum false park is also there riverside gardens so um, these are the places including waterfall views and mountain state park lots so of things if you go to greenville south carolina carolina for the first time you should make plans to visit there nonetheless the location for what camp Greenville is Clemson One Building, uh, which is of the Clemson University. Okay. And um, also, we'll talk. We'll give you a brief as well. Let's move on to the next one. What came Malaga? Let's talk about Malaga, the city of Spain. It's a port city in southern Spain, uh, on also Costa del Sol. Yes. Um, its high-rise hotels are there, uh, and also resorts and Yolo sand beaches and hilltop citadel. The Al Kazaba and Ruin Gal uh, Farabo. Uh, Spanish people don't get offended. I'm mm -hmm. still learning Spanish. My Spanish isn't that good. But then again, uh, I apologize if we have messed up some of the names. So also, there's Renaissance Cathedral La Manquita, which is also known as the so One Armed Lady. So you but started learning Spanish for the Watka Malaga? I, I am learning a lot of different languages. I was interested in Japanese. Okay. Then I actually l uh, went to uh, mm -hmm. learn German. Uh, but I didn't progress much. I still in ele uh, in the elementary progress. But Sp okay. uh, Spanish is something <coughs> uh, you like to like. Uh, whether it's your <coughs> favorite song, Despacito, or whatever <coughs> that is, you l will love Spanish. I also love the Spanish culture. Of you course, know? you love like, <laughs> like <laughs> Spanish food, like nachos and stuff. <laughs> so whenever you go to Watka Malaga, be sure to explore the culture of Spain and also Malaga as a uh, city. The location of Watka Malaga is ETS of Computer Engineering and La Noria Social Innovation Center. Okay. So that's what came Malaga. So what about Lancaster? Lancaster is a country county in southern Pennsylvania. Uh, Susquehanna River, Red Brick Central Market Building, Landis Valley Village and Farm Museum. These are the places that you should be visiting if you go to um, Lancaster. So uh, South Carolina has actually three word camps coming up. Uh, okay. uh, Lancaster is <coughs> uh, two, the second of the three. All, there is also Landis Valley Village Farm Museum uh, and also within the Amish farm country, the town of Strasbourg Railroad Museum uh, of Pennsylvania's vintage trains, Riverside um, uh, stuff is something that you do not want to miss out. Also, there's the state part, uh, Sachquihena state part. Again, I'm, I'm I'm very bad with the pronunciation. I'm sure the viewers will excuse it. Nonetheless, right. Lancaster is happening on the March 14th and also in the IU13 Conference and Training Center at New Holland Avenue. Well, there are lots of natural places in there. Well, uh, again, Ward Camp is about uh, featuring location. Ward Camp is also featuring people, uh, culture. Let's just check the feed. Um, so, viewers, we encourage you to ask questions. We've mentioned only three Ward Camp. We still have uh, about 20, 12 to 13 more Ward Camps to discuss. And we uh, actually appreciate your presence. At the moment, we peaked to 40 viewers, and it's actually um, uh, up and down. Nonetheless, let's continue with our list. Moving on to Albuquerque in New, New Mexico. Mexico. Yes, it's the largest city in New Mexico. Uh, it's also high desert. Um, uh, there's uh, it dates back to the 1706, so it's got a lot of historic uh, heritage to it. And um, Spanish colony, historic adobe building, San Felipe de Neri Church. Uh, there's also five museums. So if anyone who loves museum uh, loves to visit museum, make sure you uh, go to the city of New Mexico. And there's also native handi 
uh, American handicrafts that you can buy. Uh, apart from swags, make sure you get some uh, souvenirs as well. And nearby, there's the Indian uh, Pueblo Cultural Center, which traces the tribal history. So that is a snapshot of uh, Albuquerque. The package of everything yeah so uh, the dates of albuquerque is march 20 to 21st and it will happen in the cnm smith brasher so Hall. far i know the same you know, on the same day there will be another what camp um, maybe it's uh, yes. Grand Canada, right? Yes, of, <coughs> of so course. Could you please tell me more of about course. something? It's in Spain uh, okay. and it's Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. Uh, we, I, I just love the sound of it. Uh, Las Palmas is the capital of Gran Canaria and okay. uh, it's actually one of Spain's Canary Islands of Northwestern Africa. Um, it's a major cruise ship port, duty free shopping. If you do love duty free shopping, I love it. Uh, well, if you, wanna, uh, if you don't want to pay taxes, you should go to Las Palmas de Gran Canaria because the entire city has lots of features uh, such as sandy beaches uh, the, also there's an annual uh, festival that happens the Las Palmas de Gran Caria Carnival uh, I don't know if the time matches but do uh, check back because the uh, there are cost costume uh, performances music and dancing if you love that I love know. music right so if I have uh, any opportunity I will definitely go there and <coughs> definitely Right. With you if right. You so ahead. Las Palmas de Canaria has a uh, unique thing. It's happening in two different locations. Okay. So the <coughs> first one was on the March 22nd. The location is ICT Demonstration Center for Tourism Innovation. And then on the 21st is the Elder Museum of Science and Technology. So let's move forward with one of your favorite. What came Kolkata? <coughs> yes, I hope the Dada's Wapuda is doing well. <laughs> uh, right. Nonetheless, Kolkata, formerly known as Calcutta, is the capital of West Bengal state, founded as East India Company Trading Post, known for its grand colonial architecture, art galleries, and cultural festivities. Also, the Mother House, uh, the headquarter of missionaries of charities, uh, founded by Mother Teresa, uh, is there. And also, the tomb of Mother uh, Teresa is there on the side. Mm -hmm. So, when is what came Kolkata happening? March 22. Yes, exactly. And the uh, <coughs> location is Bishwa Bangla Convention Center at Newtown. Newtown has a lot of bookstores. So right. if you are uh, a book lover, you sh need to make sure you go to uh, Ward Camp Kolkata with preparation to buy lots and lots of books. You will find the rare books that <coughs> you want to Carry a money bundle. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, a book lover. Right. Um, so let's move on to Belgium. We have Ward Camp Antwerp. Antwerp is a port city on Belgium uh, with historic dating to the Middle Ages, centuries old diamond district houses, uh, thousands of diamond traders, uh, cutters and polishers, and towards Flemish Renaissance culture. I actually am reading from the script, so I hope you uh, excuse that. But nonetheless, we have to mention the stuff which are important. <coughs> so lots uh, of information here. Yes. So uh, we should maintain the script actually, otherwise if we can provide yeah, the yes, information there is a actually there. Yeah, open secret, there is a script. So <laughs> if you want to visit Europe, make sure you visit Wartcam Antwerp. The dates are? Antwerp. March 27, 28 and 29. And the location is University of Antwerp. Uh, okay. So let's move on to a few other uh, um, work camps. We have two more work camps happening in the March. month of March. Uh, starting with work camp San Antonio. San Antonio is a major city in South Central Texas, uh, a regional business center. It has many museums and cultural offerings, Barrier Island beaches and um, there are Jacksonville Beach and Neptune Beach which is very popular in the internet. I haven't been there but I would love to go there. Uh, we also have championship golf course the, of the PGA Tour called Ponte Venda Beaches TPC <coughs> Swagras which is also the headquarter of PGA Tour. Do you love golf? Please. You are provided Going lots of information right. the viewers will cut right. mad. Right, I, I should go or they shouldn't. I believe we have a comment. Um, <laughs> we have a comment from Jannatul Ferdos. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Jannatul. I don't know what that means, but we will do some more research so that I can come back with a relevant comment for you. Thank you for your comment. We'll move forward with the, f um, and also I need to mention the dates are 28th of 20, and 29. 29. University of Texas, San Antonio, downtown campus in the Buena Vista building. Moving forward with what came Jacksonville. So uh, Jacksonville, when is that happening? It's on March 28 and 29. And the location right. is Kaiser University. So Jacksonville is a large city in northeastern Florida and uh, a regional business center. It has many museum and cultural offerings. Okay. There's also barrier uh, island beaches such as Jacksonville uh, Beach and Neptune Beach. And also, yeah, we mentioned that already. Uh, I think we're done with the month March, of March. Right. So let's talk about 
month of April. Uh, if, if you can start with the list of uh, what come uh, that is happening in the month of April. Okay, the f uh, in month of Afri April three and four, the what come Santa Clarita will happen. Right. So let's <coughs> talk about Santa Clarita. Okay. Santa Clarita is a California city north of Los, Los Angeles, and uh, it's known for the Six Flag Magic. Uh, mountain theme park, uh, also with many roller coasters. Do you like roller? Coaster? Definitely. I, I am not a big fan, uh, by the I'm way. I'm crazy about roller coaster and magic carpet. Actually, I I would love to take a action <laughs> uh, action camera and then just close my eyes and roller coaster let their work and I'm just gonna wait for it to end so that I can watch it later when it's oh. done and I'm safe. Okay, okay. Right. Nonetheless, talking about that, if you like roller coaster, you should go visit the city of Santa Clarita. Uh, there is also uh, summertime water park that I love. There's theme park and uh, fall slides and wave pool, and also there's national area park backdrop with Vasquez Rock, which is uh, the backdrop for many films. Okay. I hope uh, Santa Clarita people, I, I hope we did justice with that information. So that is happening on the 3rd and the 4th of April at the Diane G. Van Hook University Center. What is our next word camp? So what come Italy? Yep. What come Turin, which, yeah. uh, which is in Italy? When is it and happening? And it is uh, happening in April 17 and 18. Right. So uh, it's Torino or Turin, uh, whichever way you say. In Italy, it's Torino. Uh, uh, but we will say what come Turin as a. a uh, displayed in the uh, what camp central. Right. So Turin is a capital city of Pel. Uh, Piedmont in northern Italy, known for its refined uh, architecture and cuisine, uh, baroque uh, buildings and old cafes, Turin's boulevard and grand square such as Pisa, Castello and Pisa, Pisa? San Carlo. Yes, we're talking about I Pisa. I love Pisa. So I'll give you two names. Okay. Pisa, <laughs> Castello and Pisa, San Carlo. Okay. These are, no, you don't need to Google now. Write, write I'll, you don't need to Google okay. now. I'll give you the link. So these are the <laughs> one of the very familiar and popular pizza places within the city of Turin. So Turin has a lot of cafes. Yeah, of course, you need to go. And also has 19... No, not for pizza, actually. For what? What? Oh, what, well, what, what obviously, <laughs> obviously, you have to go there for what come and make sure you taste pizza as well. Definitely. I hope they, ha they will have pizza as meal uh, or dinner. Uh, Breakfast, organizers lunch, of what come to this, please have pizza in your stalls, please. Anyway, so April 17th uh, is the date. They have Contributors Day. And on the April 18th, the uh, Wartcam Turin is happening at uh, Toolbox Coworking. Let's move forward. Mm. One April of your favorite cities. Yeah, Paris. The city of love. The city of love. People in Paris um, take our warmest greetings uh, because we're going to should give you a shout out. So Wartcam Paris is happening in Paris, <coughs> which is the uh, capital of France. And uh, it's in the 19th century cityscape. Uh, it also has crisscrossed by wide boulevards, so there's lots of roads. You can just have like a bicycle. There's lots of cafes, and also you get roadside the cafe. Yes, roadside okay. cafe. There's river uh, scene. There's Eiffel Tower. If you do remember, you want to take a selfie, yeah. check in, whatever you do. So Eiffel Tower is there. Um, also Gothic Notre Dame Cathedral, which uh, is very famous, and also Rue du Faubourg Saint Honoré. I think I tried. Uh, that was a better. I'll adjust myself. Anyway, so the dates for what Camp Paris is? April 17. And it's happening in uh, Melsherb's campus faculty of letters of S Sorbonne University. Okay. Let's check if we have any more co questions yeah. of viewers. We request, I know I'm actually going very fast, but then again, we request you to uh, post comments. Let us know which what Camp you're um, actually um, planning to attend. And if you have any particular question, uh, that you want to know about that particular WordCamp because we'll be talking about WordCamp's tickets, availability, the sponsorship, Volunteers. and also volunteer opportunities. Right. right. So let's continue with our list. We move on to, we only have a few more WordCamps to give shout out, four okay. in the list. Yeah. So let's talk about WordCamp Atlanta. Atlanta is the capital of the US state of Georgia where I really want to go. I've got family there. Okay. I really want to visit Atlanta, but then the nonetheless, uh, Atlanta is uh, dated to the 1960s civil rights movement and the civil war. Atlanta uh, History Center uh, also relates to Martin Luther King Jr. Have you listened to the speech? I have a dream. No, I don't actually Martin Luther But Luther I have a dream. To go to? <laughs> Paris. Right, of course. <laughs> uh, you're being biased, but nonetheless, <laughs> I, will, I will give you that much. So uh, Martin Luther King Jr., uh, uh, it's also a hi uh, historic site. Um, the downtown Centennial Olympic uh, Park, uh, this is where the Olympics happened in 1960. Okay. These are all there. So the dates for Atlanta are April, April 18th and, and April 19th. 19th. The location is the Louder Milk Center. 
So yeah. move on to what can Bilbao. So Bilbao, uh, when is it happening again? It is happening April 24, 25 and April 26. So that's a three-day word camp for you. Uh, it's happening in the BIC Bizkaya Ezkerda. So Bilbao is an industrial city port in northern Spain. Uh, green, it has got green mountains. It's I doubt a little bit yeah, when um, you pronounce the thing. Bilbao. Yeah. No, there are green mountains and it's the de facto capital of Basque country. Okay. And Frank Gehry Design Gurgeheim Museum is there in Bilbao. So that's the snapshot of Bilbao. Um, uh, make sure you check Bilbao out. There are lots of scenic places. We have only two more ward camps to give shout out. We have the ward camp Bucharest, which is happening in southern Romania. It's the country's capital and commercial center. What's the date for ward camp Bucharest April again? April 25. April 25. Right. Yes, and it's happening in the big ballroom uh, conference center. And in the same date, we have another ward camp. Right. What camp? Floripa. What camp? Floripa. I need to mention about Bucharest. One okay. key thing: it comes from the communist era, and uh, the Palatal Parliamentary Government Building. This building has 1,100 rooms. 1,100 rooms. rooms in the same building. So make sure you visit it's the giant That's building. It. It's 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 a historic uh, place. Also, I need to mention there's the Eastern Orthodox Tapobules Church, which dates back to the 15th century, and also King, uh, Prince Vlad the Third. Oh my God. Yeah, he's also known as the impaler. Okay. Right. I'm tired. Right. Okay, no, I'm not yet tired. <laughs> okay. We also have another <laughs> word camp, which is uh, the word camp Floripan, also known as Floriano Police. Spanish? Uh, it's actually in the southern Brazil. Okay. Yes. And, uh, and Santa Catarina State. Uh, it's famous for uh, its sea beaches and resort such as the Peraya dos Ingles. You should uh, go to that resort. It's amazing. It's got the historic buildings. So yes. And also Lagoda da Conciaco, a uh, saltwater lagoon. It's a lagoon. It's a theme park. And windsurfing and boating can be done there. We also have the Pedro Ivo Campus Bridge that connects the island to the mainland um, commercial district. The dates are? April 25th. Right. And <coughs> it's happening in the Ruo Siva Jardim 360 Center, Florianopolis. Okay. So that is a snapshot for you. We're waiting uh, for questions. If you have any question, please do post in the comment section. Um, and also, if you want further information about these word camps in general, we can provide you with that. Uh, please uh, um, tweet us, right? Uh, you can first of all uh, tweet at the rate of WeDebs. You can visit WeDebs.com. You can also email us at marketing, marketing at, at com. Right. Uh, and, and obviously, uh, um, you can, our Twitter handle, you can directly contact us in Twitter, which is... This is Yasin. Oh, I know you're Yasin. What's your Twitter handle? <laughs> my Twitter handle is this is Yasin. Right. And my Twitter handle is at the rate of chaion07. Well, we have few more information to give you. More so interesting information. Right. Anyone uh, from our viewers wanting to be a volunteer? in word camps if you are this is the list you need to pay for uh, pay attention to so what camp greenville what can greenville organizers of what camp greenville uh, we are giving you a shout out uh, you're doing amazing work uh, i believe the um, volunteer application is still open so viewers right. out there if you want to join what camp greenville as a volunteer apply right away if you want the link comment we will post you the link it's also in the website um, what camp central and also what camp uh, greenville's site and the more important thing is that it is free obviously anyone can join as a volunteer and uh, yeah join a what the, camp there are some parks that comes with you get a free ticket you can uh, you uh, have this in your profile uh, you don't get a badge for it but then again you're contributing as a, co uh, a contributor within the community people know you we have your networking and also you feel good giving back to the right. community so uh, uh, other uh, word camps that is accepting volunteer application is albuquerque in new mexico um, organizers take a shout out um, please uh, use the hashtag uh, we show if you feel like we're doing something relevant to your cause uh, the next uh, word camp that is still accepting volunteers is las palmas the the Grand Canaria. Um, if you want the link, let us know. We also have WordCamp Antwerp. We also have WordCamp Turin, WordCamp Paris, WordCamp Atlanta, WordCamp Bilbao. These are all accepting all volunteer. volunteer. Right. right. Um, let's move on to the uh, sponsorship option. Sponsor, right. So, so I have a question for you. It's actually, basically, who can sponsor in WordCamp? Or what, what is the actually processing or the benefits about sponsoring WordCamp? Or what types of sponsor can 
we can turn like it's gold. You know what? I was expecting that question from the viewers, <coughs> but nonetheless, you're also one of the viewers. Okay. My co-host, thank I'm you. I'm also a viewer. Right. Yeah, uh, my co-host, thank you for the question. So, a sponsorship can be done from anyone and everyone within the community. If you feel like giving back to the community, um, you know, the success behind WordPress as a uh, leading CMS is the fact that it always focuses the community. Uh, the core uh, Word, uh, WordPress core is developed and also enhanced by people like us. There are people who contribute to WordCamp uh, community, WordCamp marketing, WordCamp uh, translator and also different ways that you can contribute I believe there was a post very recently right. uh, within the uh, wordpress.org mm -hmm. nonetheless sponsorship also is another key area where you can contribute to uh, as a business um, uh, or as someone uh, individual you can contribute as a sponsor and sponsorship ranges from very okay, small so you amount can say that an individual can contribute in what what camp yes you can contribute as a sponsor if you're a business you can go for uh, huge sponsorship options such as okay. uh, mega bronze silver uh, there are different lots of category right yes lots okay. of color. but then there is a micro sponsor category which is for individual uh, which is a very small amount but you get yourself featured because you are sponsoring okay and um, uh, also it's a very uh, for a very good cause right so uh, moving on to the sponsorship list these are the word camps which are still accepting sponsorship so we have what camp malaga we have WordCamp Lancaster, we have Albuquerque, we have Las Palmas de, Ga de Gran Canaria, we have WordCamp Kolkata, we have uh, WordCamp Jacksonville, we have WordCamp uh, Santa Clarita, we have WordCamp Turin, we have WordCamp Atlanta and WordCamp Bucharest. WordCamp DC got cancelled, so uh, that is something they are not uh, accepting any more sponsorship. So let's talk about tickets. Okay. Can anyone uh, enter WordCamp if they want to? No, without ticket, no one can enter in what? Yes, camp. since it is a very focused uh, conference and it's unlike other conferences. So the you've been in WordCamp, right? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't been into any WordCamp. Oh, I did go to WordCamp Dhaka. I was a visitor. Right, there. right. So uh, what I've noticed is that there are small slots for uh, sponsors who want to who have paid money. They can have their own slots. They give out stuff like swag, right? Right. Swag is like we're 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 having a swaggy day today, wearing bow tie and so formal. No, actually not that. In the ecosystem of WordPress, swag means souvenir or like a gift, something that you give back, and it could be anything ranging from a pen to a sticker to a very. Uh, uh, it can be a mug. It, it can be cap, anything. It could bag. be so souvenir, just right. something that some unique. Right. Something unique as a gift. So that is swag. So if you can get swags, there are competitions that you can uh, take part of, and if you win stuff, you get giveaways, right? right? There is food available, but most importantly, you can network. You can know, meet new people. You can uh, talk about business. You can talk about how a WordPress community uh, should prosper. Uh, anyways, I'm getting. Uh, um, informed by our production manager that we have to finish our show within the next one and a half minute so uh, we're gonna be uh, cutting through a lot of names so uh, viewers these are the names of the WordCamp where you can still buy tickets WordCamp Greenville WordCamp Malaga WordCamp Lancaster World WordCamp Albuquerque WordCamp Las Palmas de Gran Canaria WordCamp Kolkata WordCamp Antwerp WordCamp Jacksonville WordCamp Santa Clarita WordCamp Turin WordCamp Paris WordCamp Atlanta, WordCamp Bilbao, and WordCamp Bucharest. So these are the WordCamp which where you can tickets still buy are available tickets. Right now. Yes, but not all of them have individual ticket. While I was doing my research, I found out that many different WordCamp was so popular that the tickets were already sold out. Right. So uh, that is pretty much uh, the list we wanted to talk about the speakers list. But as you understand, we have very shortage amount of time, and we tried to cover a lot of information. Here's the thing. So what should the people do? Uh, if for those who, who wanted more information there are many different ways you can um, follow both of us in yeah. Twitter we'll be posting relevant information but uh, better is if you go to the WordCamp Central web page you'll find all the central information apart from that I am uh, taking this initiative to write an article each month featuring the WordCamp so whatever we discussed in the last 30 minutes or so you can have that information as a blog which will be posted in wedevs.com blog site or any other of our sister concerns site. Right. Uh, we will also be sharing it socially it From will be in what wedevs.com uh, it will be in the wedevs Facebook page wedevs LinkedIn wedevs Twitter. Uh, Twitter as well uh, and also the entire episode that you are seeing right now 
we will also be publishing this video in uh, Widev's YouTube channel on Saturday. So pretty much that's it. Um, we had to cover within this. The, we, there were many things we wanted to talk, but then again we couldn't. I wanted to talk about pizza yeah. more, but then again we cannot do that. I want uh, to talk about Paris. Why don't you uh, offer me pizza after the show? Okay, sure. And I'll t I'll tell you something about Paris. Okay, with the product manager. Right. So <laughs> we give we want to give shout out to the people who are working in the back. We have uh, Rah Rahan Bhai. We have Mizan, Mizan Bhai, Bhai and we also have Jahangir Bhai. Adorable Mizan Bhai. Right. Actually. So we have people who are working very hard. Uh, Mizan Bhai's Twitter handle is uh, at Miss Press. Uh, follow that as well. So with that, uh, we are at the end of our show. Uh, we have to say goodbye. We have crossed 30 minutes. And yeah. but before that, why before we say goodbye, we'll take a selfie. Please do <laughs> not take our audacity. Uh, we'll take a selfie. Okay. Hi. Uh, you can take a selfie. And let us know your favorite moment of the show. Okay. Thank you. I Thank think you so we're much done with that. We will be uh, bringing more efforts related to WordCamp. And uh, please let us know your comment. We want your constructive feedback because the right. reason for this show is that I was looking for information and there were no central information that would give us information relating to WordCamps in okay. one place. So uh, let us know your feedback. On that note, we will say goodbye. Bye. And we hope you have a very good uh, weekend coming up and also you stay safe from the unknown on that note from me uh, the host and the co-host we say goodbye bye